What's up guys, it's Chris, you're watching Plumbing Explained, and today we're going to be fixing a Kohler shower valve. So if you're having problems getting hot or cold or just the valve mixing in general, or you're having pressure problems with your Kohler shower valve, it's likely you need a new cartridge. So Kohler has many different styles of trim. Most of them use a set screw, but they have quite a few different styles that use this type that the handle screws to a piece that hides behind the faceplate. So if you can't find anywhere where there's like a set screw or an insert to pop out for a set screw on your handle, it's likely it is screwed into this plastic piece behind the faceplate. So what you're going to want to do is not the handle part that you hold on to, but the piece behind it, the big round piece, uh, you're going to want to grab that with something like a, a strap wrench or just some utility gloves and screw that off counterclockwise and that will take the handle off then you can remove the faceplate and behind that you'll see this white plastic thing two screws top and bottom remove the white plastic thing go shut the water off to the house before you remove these other two screws that are holding the cartridge in very important you have the water shut off before you remove these two thicker Phillips screws that are side to side that are holding this cartridge in or you're going to take a bath. After you've got the water shut down you're going to want to make sure you open something to help drain the water down because this valve will still be under a little bit of pressure so if you've got a bathroom down below you or maybe a bathroom behind you turn that faucet or shower on before you pull the cartridge just to help drain some of the water down so it doesn't all come pouring out and trickle down into the wall between the uh, valve and the shower. And if your home has a recirculating valve, make sure that you have it unplugged or turned off while you're making this repair. This cartridge comes in two pieces. The back half regulates the temperature and pressure. So if that's your problem, you're probably gonna wanna just replace that half, but I recommend replacing both parts at the same time. You're gonna wanna grease up these two little O-rings in the back that press up against the valve body. And then you're gonna wanna grease up these two little O-rings, but these two should already be attached to the front half of the cartridge. If they're not, go ahead and push them up over the little nubs. Next, you're gonna take the back side of the cartridge with the cold side on the right. Make sure the cold, where it says cold, the cold port is on the right. Cold will always be on the right, hot will always be on the left, unless your house is plumbed backwards. So if you get the water back on and hot and cold are reversed, you're gonna to wanna to take that cartridge out and flip it over and stick it back in. Only the back portion. You don't flip over the front portion, just the back portion. All right guys, so now that we've almost finished fixing your problematic Kohler shower, you're just moments away from taking that hot shower you've been waiting for or washing that soap out of your hair finally like it used to because you'll have your pressure back, please go down and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you thought of the video, if you've got any questions, if there's anything I left out or you'd like to see in future videos, I really appreciate the feedback. I can't tell you how much I love reading comments from you guys, the viewers. It just makes my day. Um, make sure before you turn the water back on, you have these two bolts secured in the valve. You want to keep these two bolts. The two thicker side bolts are the ones that hold the cartridge in. Then you can go ahead and go turn the water on before attaching all the trim that way you can check for leaks to make sure the valve isn't leaking behind the trim in the wall now if you get the water back on and you're still having those pressure problems check to make sure that it's at both the tub and the shower head if you're getting good pressure out of the tub spout and no good pressure out of the shower head your problem is going to be in the shower head itself likely in the little water saver or restrictor that's in the shower head so once you unscrew it you'll probably see some debris there or just knock that restrictor out and you'll get good flow once again through the shower head but if you're having low pressure out of both then you're going to want to shut the water off remove the cartridge and flush the valve out what i mean by flushing the valve out is turning the water on and off to your home letting it run full bore out of the valve with no cartridge in there's probably some debris stuck in the lines that's causing there to be lower flow. And of course, this is if it's only at this fixture. If you're having those problems all over your home, then your problem is bigger than just a cartridge. 
So the same process goes if you're still having temperature problems with the valve after replacing the cartridge. You're gonna to wanna to go shut the water off to the home, remove the cartridge and flush the valve out. What I mean by that again, opening and closing the water to your home, which will allow the water to run freely out of both ports, hopefully flushing whatever debris is in the valve out into the tub so that you, when you replace the cartridge, you'll have full flow. This cartridge requires the same amount of volume from both hot and cold for it to properly mix the temperature. And the reason I recommend flushing the valve before even installing the new cartridge is because there could be times there's debris in the valve and all you do by changing the cartridge and turning the water back on is flush more debris into a brand new cartridge, which will just eventually, probably days later, if not immediately, mimic the problem you were having to begin with. So it's always good to flush every shower valve, no matter what cartridge you're replacing, before replacing the cartridge and putting in your new cartridge or you could just damage a brand new cartridge you always want to have the water back on before you attach the trim that way you can see if there's any leaks coming from the new cartridge that you would miss if the trim was already attached so if you flushed your valve thoroughly and you're still having pressure problems you might want to get some uh, 12 16 or 18 gauge wire and try seeing if you can fish down into the ports to see if you can unclog whatever's clogging your line there and then flush it i've had a lot of success with that i carry a couple of rolls of wire on the truck for that reason now when screwing this handle back on i always recommend you start counterclockwise until you feel the threads fall into the groove once you feel them fall into the groove you should be able to start tightening um, easily and there should be very little resistance you just want to be very careful because you're often threading metal male threads into a female plastic fitting which is kind of sketchy so that's about it guys it's chris with plumbing explained happy fourth of july weekend take care guys drain me in a pain the brown won't go down Time to deploy Uncle Elroy. He's got the longest snake around. Need to clear your pipes without any gripes. Oh, Uncle Elroy's the guy for the job. He's getting shit done without being a slob. Let's so give the man a like and go and hit subscribe. We're gonna save you money, save you time. He'll teach you how to plumb. We won't charge a dime. Jeez.